Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray back at it again. And as some of you know, I've been covering the logic user guide and tutorial quite extensively. Well, of course, you start to unearth a lot of activity and a lot of information. So here today, I want to cover how to create articulation sets for third party instruments. You ready? So what we're going to do is show you what this actually looks like. Now, if you've ever heard of the sample library by Sonascore called the Orchestra, you know that it actually comes with articulation sets. If I go into the track inspector on the left hand side and I click right here under articulation settings, you can see that when I hover down, I already have articulation settings ready for me. Now, what we're going to do today is create this for another library. Now, before we do, if you ever come across some third party articulation settings, you're going to want to deposit them inside of this folder under users, your name, music, audio, music apps inside of articulation settings there. Okay, so back to business. We know that some of the benefits of having this tech is that you can access articulation settings right here inside of the piano roll. It's uh, it's pretty efficient, pretty magical. And so I think it's super important to be able to, to access this, especially if you write strings quite consistently. If this is part of what you do, let's go ahead and adopt this method. Why? Well, you can change articulations really quickly just by control clicking the MIDI itself, going into articulation, and then selecting the proper way of expressing yourself. For one, normally you would have to create a key switch, you know, do something like this, hold option, duplicate this, find the proper articulation. It's a bit cumbersome. If you haven't done it already, then um, believe me, it, uh, it required a little bit of extra legwork. But here, when you create an articulation set, again, you just control click, go to articulation, and then select the articulation. And then you'll find that it will change. So for example, this first one will choose staccato. And the second one, just to make it sound different, will select trills half tone. So when I play this back, we get... Does that make sense? So it's very important that we set this up in advance. Now, we know the orchestra has already done this for us. But let's go ahead and set this up for, could be any library really, but I'm going to go ahead and set up Cinematic Strings. Love this company. I love what they're about. And again, if I wanted to select the key switch, I would have to program this in. So I would have to go to C, create note, and then drag this down or hit shift option down arrow key and then now i can switch key switches based on the midi event see how i'm switching between the various articulation settings up here okay so again we no longer have to do that but it does require a little bit of work to set this up we're going to create a new articulation set i'll move this over to the right and I'm going to create, just to make this easy, just three of them for now. We're going to leave this all simple. The first will be staccato. The second will be marcato. And the third will be pizzicato. You have to rename in here. All right, so that's set up. We go to output, and you want to tell the set what kind of message this is. Well, we know this is note on and off, and so we're just going to select that. This is the MIDI event. It's not a pitch band, right? It's not anything else. So let's go into channel. We're going to leave this just on to make this simple. We'll go into selector, and then we'll select the appropriate key so we when we look into cinematic strings we see that the staccato is on f1 i'm not sure if it's f negative one or f1 yeah this one here okay good and let's uh marcato will then be f sharp 
and then the next one will be G. So let's go ahead and corroborate this. Let's see if it got it. Okay. I'll just create a couple of random notes. Okay. And then let me resize the piano roll. Let's hit V to hide the plugin itself. A to turn off automation in the piano roll. And where are these notes that we have created here? All right. For this first one, we will select pizzicato. Second one will be marcato. And then this one will be staccato. Good, so you can see that it's changing over time. And so we've managed to begin what I would consider to be the beginning of an articulation set. Once you have it all sorted out, you have it set up the way you like it, then we can save it. Now, before we save it, I just wanna show you here that you can actually trigger the articulation based also on velocity. So for example, you can have two articulations on two of the same keys. So let's just call it middle C for now. But when you trigger above 20 or 30, we get staccato and anything below that will be marcato. And so this is another way of going about it if you want to. Uh, for now, let's just keep it simple, but you can go deeper still if you would like. So to kind of finish this off, we're gonna go into save as and we're gonna call this cinematic strings. Again, this will save inside of that menu. Then let's say next session comes in, I open up the same instrument, let's go into the browser, cinematic strings, let's open up the full ensemble, we go into articulation set, bring back the cinematic strings, and let's go ahead and activate some MIDI. And again, just like before, staccato. I'll change that to marcato and I'll change this into pizzicato. So now we get. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.